Hi everyone, it's Cheryl with At The Lose. I thought I would come today and uh, make a few embellishments. And this is one of the little prototypes. I'm using Tim Holtz paper and a round circle punch, an eyelet, a bulb pen, and a charm of some kind. You can make these any, oh, and Tim Holtz word, you can use these, uh, make these any size you want to. Um, this is one of the prototypes I want to be doing. I'm going to be doing a journal, upcoming journal, and I wanted to make some ephemera to go in it. Um, so there is one. Here's a, one that's a little bit different. I'm going to try to keep the glare off there of the flower. Here's one made a little bit different. This one has a square window. And these are just, you can use them as journaling cards. You could use them as tuck spots. That's why I wanted to make a few that were a little bit bigger in case I wanted to use it as a pocket or a tuck spot. So here's another one. All right, so let's get started. You can use any paper that you want. I just chose to use Tim Holtz. Um, so like this one here is five inches by three. Um, this one here is four inches by three. And these are three inches by three. So a three by three. So you can make them any size you want to. They don't have to be any particular size. Um, I just thought I'd come on and have a play. So you're going to need some eyelets, like I said, and some bulb pens and a few charms. Um, but so I just put this one together and I just used uh, part of the wildflower pack of Tim Holtz paper. And you know, in the back of the book where they have the squares like this, they have a couple of sheets that are just these, uh, I think they're six by six squares. Let me make sure. Yeah. So what I did is I just cut them apart, as you can see. And these are the ones I'm gonna be using to make these little embellishments. So I'm gonna go ahead and on this one, I need to really finish it up. So I think I'm going to grab an eyelet here. And my big bite. And I'm gonna punch a hole and put in my little eyelet. And then get a bulb pen. And I'll just finish this one up real quick and then um, we can go on to a new one. Let's see. Let's find a little charm. Maybe. Ooh, how about a silver leaf? That may be kind of pretty. So we'll just pop that on there. Maybe. Let me see if I can get it in there. And then I like to just kind of pull mine down so they're kind of laying on the page. So that'll be that one. I may pop on a little word or something there. But to finish this one off, I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges. And I'm just using Tim Holtz Vintage Photo. And I like to kind of go up on the paper when I'm using the vintage photo. And then I go around the edges, just the edges with walnut. And I just kind of like the way it gives the darker edge on top of the vintage photo. All right, and there we go. Very quick and easy. So let's make one. Let me get these out of the way. All right. So let's use this pretty piece of paper. 
So what I'm going to do is I know I want to cut it down. I kind of would like to keep that butterfly on the top. Uh, but we'll see. All right. So I'm just going to get my trimmer out. And let's make this one. Oh, that's going to cut the butterfly off. Let's turn it this way. Let's make this one five inches. Oh, and I apologize about my nails. I've been messing with paper all day trying to reorganize. So I'm going to cut that at five inches. And then I'm just going to fold it in half. And where's my bone folder? It has run away. All right, here. I'll just use this. I love this. This is by Mem We Are Memory Keepers. Oh, love this thing. Especially if you're doing large pieces. All right, so there we go. That's what we have. So now we have to decide where we're going to put our circle. And since I want to keep that pretty, oh, hopefully I'm in shot that pretty butterfly. Maybe I'll make it down here at the bottom for something different. And keep your little circles because you can always use those. All right. So now we have this. And I have cut some little pieces of, um, oh, you know, the clear pockets you can put in a notebook. It's just a little clear piece of plastic. And I did them two by two. And what I've been doing is I love butterflies and I wanted to do something with some butterflies. So these are Tim Holtz little butterflies. And I just kind of lay it and see kind of where I want it. So I think I want to put that about right there. So one second. Oh, oh, I just ran out of, give me one second. I got to get some adhesive. Sorry guys, I thought I had a, another one laying right there, but I don't. I usually use my little runner, but I don't see it. And I just ran out and I have another one. But of course, you can never find it when you're crafting, right? All right, well, let's move on. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and ink around this butterfly because I just hate white edges. Whoa! And I'm going to get my glue stick. And we'll just glue this on. So I'm going to kind of put it where I want it. Right there. And then I'm going to take a piece of the acetate. And I guess I'll get a little bit of glue. And this is our glitter glue. And I put it around the edges. All right, I just took the pen out. Come on now. There we go. Something like that. And this is all going to be glued together, so it's not, you're not going to see that. And I just kind of push the glue away from the window. But if you get a little bit on there, it's really easy to wipe off. All right, so that's what we've got so far. I didn't mind that. I didn't very well, did I? All right, and it. Now we need to put our little hole in there. And I'm going to put it over in this corner. Actually, before I do that, 
Let's glue it together. Now we can cut our hole in there. And I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it and put it in the corner. And then let's see what color we want. Maybe this pretty blue. Kind of match the butterfly. Silver would be pretty on this. Oh, and I have a pretty little rose we'll add to it. And now we can just ink up the edges in whatever color you want. And then come in with that walnut. And there we go. One cute little embellishment. All right, let's make one, uh, let's do one a little smaller. All right, so since these are six, I'm gonna cut this at three. And I'm going to cut that jagged edge off the top. So it ends up being ends up being about a little less than five now that we've cut that off. So, and what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to fold it this way. So the pretty birdies are on there. And you can use any size punch you want to. Um, or you don't have to punch them at all. I'm going to get my little smaller circle punch. And I'm not sure how big this is. Let's see. Hmm, looks like it's about an inch. And now you only want to punch one side of the paper. And I'm not bothered with that being upside down because I'm I you could always decoupage out over it if you wanted it to be free floating. Mine, I'm kind of thinking they're going to be like glued to the page. So I'm going to open this up and maybe either way, I'm going to get that birdie's tail. So I'm going to do that. And let's see. Ooh, you know, it might be cute to use one of the circles from another punch. And put a little flower in there. That might be cute. Let's see if we can cut that down. That might be. I think I might use that as a cute little dangle. 
<clears throat> instead of inside. And then we can just put another pretty little butterfly in here. Because I'm really wanting to use my butterflies. Oh, that one's perfect. So I hope everybody's having a great day. Oh, it's too big. Um, and staying safe. Um, I'm going to be helping Miss Tammy at My World in OKC again today. She's going to finish um, up her sale today. And I think it is 4 o'clock um, Central Time. So, guys, if you have time, hop on over and join us. Um, it's a little big. Um, so she has a lot of goodies for sale. stick on here I wouldn't uh, I would probably do something different but this is all gonna be glued together so I really don't think it is gonna go anywhere ah, I could hold on to it Right. So there we go. And maybe we'll get do an orange one this time. I just love these little colored, <clears throat> pardon me, eyelets. And I got these on Amazon and I just love them. They're the three quarter. And I just love them. Sometimes you just want a little pop of color. All right. And let's take that little one that we, whoops, where'd it go? There it is. Let's take this little flower that we cut down from one of the bigger punches. <clears throat> and let's just put a little hole in there. And we can attach it. How fun! All right, I think I'm going to use the black one. And there you go. Isn't that cute? All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and turn on some music, and I'm going to keep going. Hope you guys join me and craft along. See you in a minute.
I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, I hope it was I hope it was an informative and you guys will make you some to put in your journals. Thank you guys so much for coming. I appreciate you guys. Love you. Bye.